big a sandstorm. Mm, yeah, you know, prowlers don't like sandstorms. Hello everyone, Trigon here, and we are back playing Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate having you here with me. And uh, please, if you like this episode, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you uh, haven't subscribed already, please, please do that too. Please do that. Okay, well, there we go. So you may have noticed things look a little different here. I decided to move uh, these two crafting tables closer to uh, this one here so it'd be easier to transfer stuff back and forth. But part of the reason for that was with all the, uh, well, we need to start getting some, uh, you know, advanced technology stuff going. And so I expanded our workshop. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm one of those engineers who, you know, improves things even though you didn't really want them improved but there you go so here we go we got extra space in here now where we can put in fabricator and things like that um and let's see so i also expanded our little deck area back here and uh improved this a little bit and I got our walls raised a bit and got the uh, upper gate here done. Let's see, this is all working now. Easy to get in and out. I actually put a spike wall right up there because I realized it was real easy to just jump over the wall at that point. <laughs> Probably should have done that wall a little bit different, but the spike wall is a good fix for it for now. Um, but I'd say that our uh, compound here is pretty secure at this point. And I don't think anything's going to be getting in here. Um, so first things first, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a... Uh, fabricator. We're going to need some gasoline to run it. At least until we get electric going. Which will not be right away. So let's come out here. And we'll grab some of this. And let's make sure this is on a forge. Oh, we got some metal in here. I didn't realize that. And we'll light up that forge. So we probably got metal too. Yeah, all right. 162 more metal than I thought we had. It's okay, we got that going. Um, let's see. Do we have the stuff we need in here for this? Yes, we do. Oh, darn it. What am I doing? I just made the wrong one. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's going to have to do for right now. I forget that if you make it in here, it makes a vanilla one. Even though it's a structures plus a crafting table, you have to make it in here to get the structures plus one. Ugh. You know, we actually have all the stuff. I think I'm just going to destroy this and rebuild it. Yeah, I know. Waste of materials, but we're going to want to... Hello. <laughs> okay, let's just put it in a slot. We're going to want to be able to run it off electricity, and we're not going to be able to do that with a vanilla one. So let's see. We will toss all this stuff in here. Let's see, what are we short now? Spark powder crystal and oil. Okay, well, none of those are a problem. Well, and go grab some spark powder. Oh, I can't believe I did that. That makes me so mad. And I've got some more cementing paste crafting up in here. I don't remember how much spark powder it was, so we'll just grab 50. I remember it used to seem like it took so much work. Of course, you know, our settings are a lot uh, different here. But it used to, on vanilla, man, did it just take forever to craft up everything to build one of these. Okay, so now we have the right fabricator. 
So, yeah, I was hoping it would fit there. Looks good to me. Okay, there we go. Alright, now once our gasoline is done, we can uh, make ourselves up some... Uh, electronics and polymer. What I want to make first off is a refrigerated feeding trough. So that'll let us keep meat out here for our meat eaters without having to transfer it out all the time without the meat spoiling continually. So look at that. Even in the even in here we've got a lot of meat spoiled. Which can be good. There are certainly advantages to spoiled meat. But we do have a meat spoiler too that we will make use of as things get moving. Let's take one of these stacks, gonna we'll stick it in the feeding trough for a minute. Oh, I already had meat in here, okay. Well, fine, I'll just leave that in there for now. <laughs> Let's put that in there. Last time we played, usually I would have uh, had two arc yes episodes yesterday, one on the island and one um, here. But I just couldn't get the stuff together to do uh, to do uh, a scorched earth episode yesterday. Too much stuff that had to be done. So let's see how's this coming. That's strange. It didn't... It didn't use any of the oil make... It made gasoline. It didn't use the oil. <laughs> I'd say that's a bug in that particular forge. Not that I'm complaining too much, mind you. Just means it's... There for me to use it later. Okay. So we got some gasoline. Now, I actually, believe it or not, in a drop the other day, I got a windmill. So we'll be able to actually start getting uh, electric going here. Now, what's the wind like here? Uh, let's have a look. 65%. Uh, so, not horrible, not great, but not horrible. Uh, I don't know where we'll put a windmill, though. Out here, maybe? Maybe we'll need to extend that little, our little back deck out here so we can put a windmill on it. Do that. Build a couple more foundations. Actually, I have a couple here because I ran them all the way down even though they sort of stuck. You know, not, I'm afraid if I try to take those out, it's just going to demolish them. So let's not, or demolish the stuff on top of them. We can make we can make more. Um, I'm not sure how much room the thing takes up, but I guess we could test fit it. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's grab some cementing paste, and we'll grab our pearls, and we'll grab some metal, and we'll come over here. We'll turn it on. Thirties enough, don't you think? Is it crafting anything? There we go. Got to see our queue. There, we've got 50 electronics going. Okay, so, oh, hey, and there, we needed that level, too, because we needed the Ingram points. Let's see. Yeah, I know I got a level earlier, and then I made 61, but I swear I didn't get any Ingram points for it. Uh, I wonder if something funky's going on with my configuration. That would be very, very sad. Uh, I would have to figure out what that was. Let's go ahead and put it in crafting speed again. Okay, now it did give us 20 more. Maybe I must have I must have purchased an Ingram. I didn't think I did, but 
Uh, let's have a look, see down through here and see what we can get. Uh, we can get the refrigerated feeding trough, which I tried to get. I tried to get the other day when we were playing, and I accidentally got the wrong one, which really made me mad. Twelve Engram points. I mean, I can. Uh, I can, um, you know, do a, a mind wipe tonic and uh, get them back eventually, but it's just a nuisance that I did that and masked myself up. Let's see what anger points we want. Not, might want. Wouldn't mind getting my pump action shotgun. See, we could get that. That's right there. We have just enough points to get that. Oh, we need the generator. We don't have enough anger points to get the generator. Well, we're going to have to save anger points to get the generator then. Mm. Okay, well, let's get this uh, windmill here. I don't know if you're not familiar with uh, Scorched Earth. When they uh, brought this out, they added a uh, wind turbine. You know, for generating electricity using wind. Looks like it's two foundations, if I'm seeing this correctly. Try to zoom out here so we can see. Possibly zoom out so that we can see better. Yep, that looks like it. So, yeah, so if we expand... Oh, it'll sit on the ground, too. But you know what, if I... I'll bet you if I um, put the in-floor electrical wires down on the foundation and place it on top of it, it'll probably snap to it. And that will give us, uh, you know, that'll connect it up perfectly into our electrical system. So we will definitely uh, put foundations out there for that. And let's put this thing away for now. Man, I came back and I'm like, why am I so overloaded? The, that was when I was on my way back from, I don't remember, exploring, I guess. And I'm going, man, why am I so overloaded? Why am I so overloaded? And then <laughs> realize that that thing weighed, what was it, 70 pounds? And make those. Then let's pull the rest of the clay I made. There we go. That's almost a thousand clay. Help us out immensely. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're having, a, if you're here in the U.S., having a good Thanksgiving or anywhere else that celebrates something today, whatever you're celebrating. And if you're not celebrating something, well, then just celebrate life. Figured out very early on in my career that just wasn't worth being unhappy. You know, so I always tried to enjoy my job. You know, always tried to walk in uh, to my customers' uh, offices with a smile on my face. And I think it helped. I mean, not just me, I think it helped my customers, too. At least I like to think it did. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I running around in circles? <laughs> okay, well, let's turn that off now. We got that stuff. So we can build a refrigerator. Um, let's see what it's going to take to build a refrigerator. Uh, I would probably build a refrigerating feeding trough and not bother with the refrigerator. The reason being is... The feeding trough can be picked up again. So, you know, that means that we can... There we go. 25 crystal. I shouldn't have turned this off. Let's go ahead and make the fridge. What am I doing? We don't need... Well, we'll make it anyways. Let's just take half of that stack. Um, we don't have electric yet. I don't know why I'm doing this. Maybe we can get electric going. We'll see. I'm all confuddled, getting things out of order here. Come on. Okay, so... No, I don't want to crouch. I want to see my ingrams here. Uh, let's see. Wood thatch, fiber, metal, and the refrigerator. So, we'll take some wood, some thatch, some fiber, and some metal. And the refrigerator. Small refrigerated feeding trough. There we go. 
And I'm thinking maybe place it, place it right here between these windows. That seems like a good spot to me. Probably shouldn't place it until we have the electric and can take the other stuff out. So otherwise, I don't know if it'll interfere with the existing one or not. And it does not preserve anything without electricity running through it. So, okay, so we've got it. I'm just going to store it away in our building box for now. Uh, store it away in our building box. There we go. Okay, now what do we need to get these electrical wires going? <clears throat> of course, I don't think we dare do anything until we get either solar going or... Um, and I have all the stuff for the solar plant. Let's take a look at this first, though. Not pipes. Uh, electrical? We have the electric stuff, don't we? Let's just narrow it down to Structures Plus. Are we not able to get the stuff yet because we don't have... Because we don't have the... Um... So we can get the Structures Plus Turbine too. insulation negator so that's water pipes okay here's the integrated wiring yeah so we need the straight electrical cable to get those and oh man so we it is going to be a while before we can get electric isn't it hmm We need to get the generator first, then we can get that, and it's going to be a while before we can afford this. Might, no, we won't even have enough. Next time we level up, we can get a generator, but we won't be able to get any wiring. we got to level up twice. Okay, so it's going to be a little while before we can do that. So, we made some progress. We just can't do too much with it yet. We could probably get other things, but I want to get that electric going. Uh, get our food preservation improved. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, the preserving bins are doing okay for us. They're not terrible. But, uh, I mean, I do want electric stuff. The fridge, but also I want, um, you know, I want the meat spoiler and other things like that that'll help us out a lot. And those all require electricity. So, I think one of the things I want to do is I want to get a mantis. I mean, I've wanted to get a mantis practically since I first saw them. Um, but getting a mantis is not easy. To get a mantis, you've got to have... Um, what is it? Uh, deathworm teeth or deathworm horns or something like that. It means we have to be able to kill deathworms. I'm not sure what it'll take to kill a deathworm. I mean, as far as I know, Envy here could be one-shotted by one. Ugh. Let's go look. I mean, there's no time like the present, right? We're either going to die or we're not. We just need to figure out where the closest route to the desert is. I think... Let's just follow the river valley. So, I will... Um, I'm going to go uh, see what I can do. Once I find one, then I'll bring you guys back. So, BRB. Alright, we're back. And we're back home, too. I uh, spent quite a bit of time searching. I even uh, <laughs> went through a sandstorm in the nighttime and never did find one. But, you know, that may be for the best. I just happened to uh, think just a minute ago. Uh, might not be a good idea to take our only RG out to uh, uh to do something like that so i think what i'm gonna do is uh 
Man, I wish I had the stuff to make some more taming sedative. I think I'm going to uh, grab taming sedative and head up into the mountains and look for a, a higher level Argy. I mean, that was sort of the point of getting Envy, that uh, she was she was a starter. She would allow us to get a better Argy. So uh, we'll do that, and that way, you know, if we happen to get killed hunting for a death worm, um, it won't be the end of the world. So I'm going to grab the stuff, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Here is a Lady 240. All we need to do is clear a landing area around her. I think means getting rid of the kitties. And the Carno. Stupid thing. It really makes me mad that something is broken on these birds with pickup that it doesn't go off the first time like it's supposed to. Now, is that our 240 there or is this a different one? Um, this is our 240. Okay, cool. Let's see. This looks like a decent enough spot. Okay, where is he? Right there. No, come Oh, and I missed him. <laughs> we gotta re aggro him. Can't afford to keep wasting those blues. Hey, you. You peeved at me yet? Great, now there's a cat over here. Okay. Okay, now here he comes. Oh, and I'm stuck. Dang it. We get two of them on us. Oh no, one. We've got a vulture. Want to kill the vulture. Don't want to injure our. Target bird any more than I need to. Oh, goodness sakes. Always something, I tell you. If we fly away, we can de aggro both of them and then pick our uh, RG out. No. Stupid vulture. Music has stopped. He's lost interest. I don't like the vulture has. Let's see if we can drag the vulture off in a different direction. Vulture's still coming. Vultures after me directly. We got him. Oh man, he almost killed me too. Goodness sakes. Is that our 240? Yes, it is. What else is in the area? That thing there. Oh, these vultures are nasty. Hmm. 
Oops, crossbow was already out. Oh, that's right. These aren't the perfect ones that knock them out with one shot. Oh, there we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. All we have to do is make sure there's nothing around here to try to eat him. Archie down there, we'll let it be. Unfortunately, I wish we had some prime. Is there anything around here we can get prime from? We could try some of those carnos down there. And we get a little prime off him. That was pretty good. Didn't expect to get prime off the RG. Oop, that's not the car now. There's the car now. <laughs> Run away! Anything else we can get Prime off from here? Health is recovering slowly. Oh, this guy. Perfect. This guy should give us Prime. Don't know what level he is. Hopefully we can kill him without too much fuss. Yeah, what were we thinking, thinking we could take out a Death Worm? We're having trouble with this thing. Okay. So hopefully we've got enough Prime to tame him up. If not, we'll just use regular meat for the rest of it. Oh, and there are RGs up here now. You! Go away! Boy, this is a pretty RG. I don't suppose you'd happen to be a 300 or something, would you? 130. Not high enough, sorry. Oh, there's a golem right over there. Haven't seen that. Definitely need to stay away from him. RG to RG combat really sucks, I tell you trying to turn inside another RG is difficult and all they want to do is fly around in circles because they want to get up behind you and okay now I need to land and rest for a second here okay yeah I it's like I can leave us alone I don't know let's try it Oh, am I? Okay. Give me your meat. Give me your prime. Oh, we got a recipe. Cool. Yeah, I'll put half the meat on him. Alright, we're just going to use both these because I don't want to hang around here any longer and I have to. <laughs> Excellent. Up her damage. A 359. That's a lot better. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we got another level out of this too. Cool. Be able to get our electric stuff in the next episode now. All right. Excellent. I wonder what to name her. Well, I am going to get her home before I do anything else, because uh, I, I, I just don't feel safe here for some reason, you know, with all the Argies and Carnos and Sabertooths and Scorpions and Golems and, you know, little things like that. <laughs> so, all right, that's going to be it for this episode. We are uh, probably over time already now. So uh, if you like this episode, please tickle that thumbs up button. Please share as you like, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And when we come back next time, we will get to doing some of that electric goodness. She's all green, that girl's 
So they're browns and reds and white wingtips. Hmm. I'll think of a name while we're gone. So you have a good day. Thanks for watching.